Welcome back to Filter. I'm Diane Mizota, counting down gaming's biggest bad boys. We're down to the last three spots on the countdown, but before we blow the lid on the top spot, let's simmer down for a quick recap. Kane claws out a legacy and the 10 spot. Sam Fisher may be going in alone, but it's going quite well, thank you. The Splinter Cell star comes in ninth place. Hotsuma is hot shit. The Shinobi star secures an eighth place finish. Knuckles throws down and lands himself the seventh spot. You feel Max's pain while he feels your love as the leather-clad noir star gets voted into sixth place. Squall uses his gun blade to carve up a fiver, while Tommy Versetti carves Vice City a new one, finishing up in fourth place. Our next guy, however, gets the job done with a little more style. After all, he's got the threads, he's got the sword, and above all else, he's got the flask. I would say Oren is a video game bad boy because he can put up with Titus, who is one of the most annoying characters ever, and not kill him. He's got, you know, a mean streak. He's got a bad attitude, and I think that has a lot to do with, well, he's dead. He just has a bad attitude. You know, he doesn't take crap from anyone, and uh, he's got that flask that he drinks from, so that might be the cause of his bad attitude, but he, he's a good guy, you know what I mean? I think he's a good guy. He's, he's a bad boy, but he's a, he's a good character. With all that class, it's easy to see why you guys tabbed Orin in the top 10. But before we move on to the two biggest bad boys, let's check out a few that got filtered out. One bad boy that I think you guys should put on your list would be Wolverine. His agility is just incredible. I mean, he's lightning fast and he doesn't wear out. He's like the mutant that'll live forever, but yeah, he's really awesome. One character that should be on your list that isn't is the uh, the Hulk. Fairly new game, but uh, again, you know, he's trying to do good things, and he does end up doing good things, but in order for him to do those good things, somebody either has to do bad things to him for him to go off, or, you know, in, in order to do the good thing, he has to do something bad. that you guys forgot to mention on there is Bowser, you know, because he, he's a dinosaur. He looks like, you know, he doesn't look like anybody else. So I like Bowser, you know. You guys forgot to put him on there, so. I think King Koopa or Bowser, whichever name you go by, um, he's your definitive bad boy because Mario's your definitive good guy. Now that we've paid our respects, let's pay some props. When it comes to the slickest of the slick, the coolest of the cool, and the baddest of the bad, you guys voted early and often for Devil May Cry's Dante and Metal Gear's Solid Snake. Dante's got the cool red duds and the fancy sword, but this PI hits the netherworld with one of the coolest tricks this side of Houdini when he juggles bad guys in the air with his pistols. Snake, however, isn't about the show. He's about the down low. And the original stealth genre hero scores major points for the chiseled good looks and gravelly voice. There's no question that they're both bad. It's just a matter of who's badder. So let's do it to it and find out who takes it as Coat meets Unitard in another filter face-off. Solid Snake is a bad boy. On one hand, he works for the government, but on the other hand, he does hide in cardboard boxes and kill people. And that's pretty bad boy to me. In a filter face-off, I think I'd have to go with Solid Snake over Dante. He's so gruff, he's so like tired and fed up with everything he has to do, but he has no problems doing it and killing people. It's pretty essential. I think he's definitely the winner. Dude. He's got a mullet. I think Solid Snake's a bad boy because well, he's the only character in video games that can get away with a mullet. Did I mention he has a mullet? All right, cool. In a face-off, I would say 
Dante. I think Dante winning the face off. In a filter face off, if you were to pit Dante and Solid Snake next to each other, the top spot, I'm gonna have to go with Dante. He's got the white hair, he turns into a demon. Despite how cool Solid Snake is as a character, you just can't compete with changing it into like a whole nother life form. He's like a half demon, half man. He's pretty awesome. You know, he pulls out his guns, doesn't mess around, just goes at it. I mean, he's really cool. It's something, he's something very unique, unlike the others. I would have to go with Dante, just because he, he's a superhero for the 21st century. So, who did you go with? The polls are closed, your votes are counted, and your choice for gaming's biggest bad boy is... Solid Snake. One word, mullet. Doing well, the for what? Impersonate a police officer. <sighs> well, that wraps up this episode of Filter. Remember, the opinions expressed on this show are yours, not mine. So make your vote count on future episodes by logging onto the Filter show page at g4tv.com slash filter. Until then, I'm Diane Mizoda, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>